Hello and welcome. This is my hilltopping radio bag, which houses the Zyku X5105 and the accessories I need to run it and charge it in the field. In the front here, you can see there's a link dipole section of cables. On the side pouch, we have an NFIT half wave antenna and a 49 to 1 unun transformer for 80 meters and charging cables. This is the back side of the bag. This is a Maxpedition Neat Freak. In the back here, I have some cables and paracord for tying up the antenna system. Let's open up the bag and look inside of it. As you can see, the bag opens up in a clamshell formation, exposing the X5105 for operations. Let's go ahead and take everything out of the bag and put it on the table. Starting over here, we have 13 meters of counterpoise via ring terminal attachment, two elements to form a 20 meter dipole via the BNC connector here, and an additional length to form a 40 meter dipole. We can also use these wires in conjunction with the 49 to 1 unknown transformer here to form a 20 meter end fed half wave system or with the connections a 40 meter end fed half wave system. We have a notepad and pen for logging. We have RG174 cable. Then we also have 80 meters length of wire cut for the foam portion of the band attached to our transformer here. We have a BNC to SO239 connector and Amphenol connector here. We have four ring nuts to use in their system here for attaching the ring terminals. We have paracord for attaching to the trees. Next we have an energizer battery which outputs several voltages 19 to 20 over here, 9 to 12 over here, and then USB output over here. Input is 15 to 19 volts to charge this battery. To help charge the system in the sun, we have a Powerfilm F15-300 solar panel. It's a 5 watt solar panel at 0.3 amps at 15.4 volts. Over here we have some cables that go into the solar panel and from the solar panel to the battery to help charge the battery. Over here we have a MOSFET up converter system. It is a modular system. We have it set for 13.8 volts to charge from the battery to the Zygu so that the Zygu battery can charge itself. And we have the associated cables that are necessary for that charging. And finally we have a couple Ziploc bags that are in the kit to keep, make sure everything stays waterproof. That is my Zygu X5105 Parks on the Air, Summit on the Air, and Hilltopping radio kit.